afternoon, shareholders and guests. We'd like to welcome you all to this 2022 virtual annual and special meeting of the shareholders of Poet Technologies. My name is Kevin Barnes. I'm the VP of Finance and Administration Treasurer of the company. And while this world is slowly getting back to the pre-pandemic state, we have chosen to err on the side of caution and once again hold the meeting in this virtual format. As noted in your information circular, today's meeting is conducted virtually by the Lumi platform, which will allow only registered shareholders to participate in the voting. Please note, if you have already voted, you do not need to vote on the resolutions as they are read. So uh, the meeting today will be just about two hours long and uh, we will first handle the formal part of the meeting, which is gonna be chaired by Peter Charbonneau. He is our lead director and chair of the Corporate Governance and Nominating Committee. This will be followed by a short video presentation and an oral presentation by our CEO and uh, chairman, Dr. Suresh Van Kedison. And then that will be followed up with a Q&A session. With us today, we have management and board representation. We have uh, Dr. Suresh Van Kedison. We have uh, Vivek Rajgarhia, Thomas Maika, Raju Kankipari. And from our board, we have uh, Dr. Peter, uh, sorry, we have Peter Charbonneau, Glenn Riley, Chris Siofas. And uh, we also have uh, Teresa Lanendi, who is uh, one of our new board nominees. The agenda for the formal part of the meeting will cover the topics that you see before you. And again, if you have already done so, we ask that you do not participate in any of the voting. Um, now, the three items pre presented here will be the items that you will be voted on, uh, which are the uh, election of directors, the election of the number of directors, and uh, the auditors. So at this point, I'd like to turn the meeting over to our lead director and chair of the Corporate Governance and Nominating Committee, Peter Charbonneau, to chair the formal part of the meeting. Peter. Thank you, Kevin. <clears throat> Welcome everyone to the annual general special <clears throat> and general and special meeting of shareholders of Poet Technology Inc. As Kevin mentioned, my name is Peter Charbonneau. I'm the lead independent director and chair of the Corporate Governance Committee of Poet Technologies, Inc. This meeting will come to order. As noted in the notice of meeting and accompanying management information circular, this year's annual general and special meeting is available online using Lumi Meeting Platform, which allows registered shareholders or other proxy holders to vote in real time, as well as submit questions and comments to be read and addressed at the meeting. If you have a question or comment, please submit it through the Lumi meeting platform by clicking on the message icon. I will now ask Thomas Mika, the chief financial officer and secretary of the company to act as secretary of the meeting. I wish to point out that only shareholders of the company or their appointees by proxy are allowed to move and second the adoption of resolutions and to vote at this meeting. To this end, shareholders who are in attendance or their proxy holders have been provided with an opportunity to electronically vote for, against, or withhold vote where applicable. The voting platform is now open for voting on all resolutions should any shareholder choose to change his or her vote. The voting platform will allow you to choose to vote on each resolution immediately or wait until conclusion of discussions on each resolution prior to casting your vote. If you have already voted, I will give you a minute to enter your votes and then declare voting closed at the end when all formal business items have been discussed and voted on. There are several routine matters that must be dealt with at this meeting. In order to expedite these and leave more time for a presentation and question after the formal meeting, I have arranged for certain persons to make and second the formal motions and will call on these persons at the appropriate time. The first item in business will be the appointment of a scrutineer to report on the shareholders present in person and the number of shares represented in person and by proxy at the meeting. 
The chair recognizes Mr. Mike White. Mr. Chairman, I move that Billy Chow of Computer Share Investor Services, Inc. be hereby appointed scrutineer of this meeting. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, the chair recognized Mr. Victor Husas. Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Thank you, Victor. Are there any questions or comments? Assuming no questions or comments, by the authority granted to me as chairman, I declare the motion carried. In accordance with the notice and access rules under National Instruments 54-101, the company has sent its proxy related materials to shareholders using the notice and access method. As such, shareholders received a proxy form and or voting instruction form in paper format. The notice of meeting and management information circular may be accessed or downloaded from the company's website or from CDAR. The proof of mailing of the proxy material has been filed with me by the secretary of the company. I direct that such a copy of proof of mailing be annexed to the minutes of the meeting as a schedule. I will now ask someone to move and someone to second the adoption of a resolution dispensing with the reading of the notice. The floor recognizes Mr. Kevin Barnes. Mr. Chairman, I move that the reading of the notice of this meeting be dispensed with. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, the floor recognizes Mr. Thomas Mika. Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Thank you, Tom. Are there any questions or comments? As there are no questions or comments by the authority granted to me as chairman, I declare the motion carried. The scrutineer has provided me with the preliminary report on shareholder attendance represented at this meeting. The scrutineer reports that there, are pre <clears throat> that there are present at this meeting in person or by proxy, 387 shareholders holding 9,540,887 common shares, which represent 25.99% of the total issued and outstanding shares available to vote. Accordingly, I declare that the prerequisite quorum of shareholders is present and that the meeting is duly called and properly constituted for the transaction of business. I direct that the scrutineer's final report on attendance be annexed to the minutes of the meeting. Seventh, 2021, and the minutes of such meeting were filed in the minute book and are available for inspection. I will now ask someone to move and someone to second the adoption of a resolution dispensing with the reading of the minutes and that the minutes be taken as read and verified as correct. The floor recognizes Mr. Bill White. Mr. Chairman, I move that the reading of the minutes of the last meeting of shareholders be dispensed with and the minutes be taken as read and verified as correct. Thank you, Bill. The floor recognizes Mr. Mike White. Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Thank you, Mike. Are there any questions or comments? As there are no questions or comments by the authority granted to me as chairman, I declare the motion carried. I now present to the meeting, the audited consolidated financial statements of the company for the year ended December 31st, 2021, together with the auditor's report thereon as well as the unaudited consolidated financial statements for the six month ending June 30th, 2022. Copies of such documents were filed on CDAR, posted on the company website and mailed to those shareholders who had requested a copy. I will now ask someone to move and someone to second the adoption of a resolution dispensing with reading of the auditor's report. The chair recognizes Mr. Kevin Barnes. Mr. Chairman, I move that the reading of the auditor's report be dispensed with. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, the floor recognizes Mr. Thomas Mika. Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Thank you, Tom. Are there any questions or comments? As there are no questions or comments by the authority granted to me as chairman, I declare that this motion be carried. I now give attention to the setting of the numbers, number of directors of the company and the number of directors proposed by management to be elected to serve as directors for the ensuing year. 
The company currently has six directors. Management of the company proposes that the number of directors of the company and the number of directors for the ensuing year be set at seven. I will now ask someone to move and someone to second the adoption of a resolution setting the number of directors of the company at seven and electing seven directors for the ensuing year. The chair recognizes Mr. Victor Yousas. Mr. Chairman, I move the number of directors of the company be set at seven and that seven directors be elected for the ensuing year. Thank you, Victor. Uh, the floor recognizes Mr. Mike White. Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Thank you, Mike. Are there any questions or comments? If you have chosen to cast a vote on this resolution, please do so now. If you have already voted, you do not need to do so again. Provide a few moments for people to vote if they so choose. Okay. I declare that the number of directors of the company is set at seven and that seven directors be elected for the ensuing year. It is now in order to proceed with the election of directors and to elect seven directors to hold office until the next annual meeting of shareholders or until their successors are elected or appointed. Will someone please nominate those persons whose names appear as nominee directors in the management information circular of the company? The chair recognizes Mr. Mike White. Mr. Chairman, I nominate Suresh Kedison, Mikhail Lipson, Glenn Riley, Teresa Lan Endy, Jean-Louis Melange, Peter Charbonneau, and Chris Siofis. as directors of the company to hold office until the next annual meeting of shareholders or until their successors are elected or appointed. Thank you, Mike. The company bylaws provide that in addition to any other applicable requirements for a nomination to be made by a nominating shareholder, the nominating shareholder must have given timely notice thereof in proper written form to the corporate secretary of the corporation at the principal executive offices of the corporation not less than 30 days prior to the date of the annual meeting of shareholders. No nominations were received from a nominating shareholder. Seven persons have been nominated to fill the seven directors position, positions. Since no notice of further nominations have been received by the company, I would now ask someone to move and someone to second the adoption of a resolution approving the election of the seven nominees. The chair recognizes Mr. Bill White. Mr. Chairman, I move that the election of the seven nominees be approved and that the chairman be directed to cast a single ballot for the election of the seven nominees as directors of the company for the ensuing year to hold office until the next annual meeting or until their successors are elected or appointed. Thank you, Bill. Uh, the floor recognizes Mr. Kevin Barnes. Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Thank you, Kevin. Are there any questions or comments? If you choose to cast a vote on this resolution, please do so now. If you have already voted, you do not need to do so again. And I'll provide now a moment for people to cast a vote if they so choose. I now declare those nominated to have been duly elected as directors of the company to hold office until the next annual meeting of shareholders or until their successors are elected or appointed. 
The next item of business is the appointment of auditors and the authorization of directors to fix the remuneration of such auditors. I will now ask someone to move and someone to second the adoption of a resolution appointing Markham LLP as the auditors of the company until the close of the next annual meeting of shareholders or until its successor is appointed and authorizing the directors to fix their remuneration during this period. The floor recognizes Mr. Kevin Barnes. Mr. Chairman, I so move. Thank you, Kevin. The floor recognizes Mr. Tom, <clears throat> Thomas Mika. Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Thank you, Tom. Are there any questions or comments? If you have chosen to cast a vote on this res resolution, please do so now. If you have already voted, you do not need to do so again. Again, I'll provide a moment for people to cast a vote if they so desire. So I declare that Markham LLP has been duly appointed auditors of the company to hold office until the next annual meeting of shareholders, and that the directors have been duly authorized to fix their remuneration. At this point, all registered shareholders and duly appointed proxy holders should have submiss submitted their votes <clears throat> on the motions brought forth at this meeting. If you have not already voted, please complete the electronic ballot ballots on Lumi now. We will give you one more minute. Voting has now closed on all items of business. Based on the preliminary report on proxies received from the scrutineer, I declare that all the motions brought forth at this meetings have been carried. Accordingly, I direct that the final tabulation of the voting results will be included in the meeting minutes and that the final voting re results be included in a report on voting results, which will be posted on CDAR under the company's issuer profile in due course following today's meeting. The formal business of the meeting is concluded. Is there any additional business to be considered? After the termination of formal business of the meeting, our Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Suresh Benkatesan, our President and General Manager, Vivek Rajgahiria, and our Chief Financial Officer, Thomas Mika, will be providing updates on the affairs and business of the company, and we'll be pleased to answer any questions from shareholders. <clears throat> 